Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about ponytails. I am going to share a bunch of tips and tricks that I think everybody should know in order to get your perfect ponytail. There is a lot to cover, so let's get started straight away. I'm going to be making a high ponytail because I feel like those are the trickiest to get right and they give the most opportunity to explain all the tips that I want to share today. First thing I want to share is how to get your ponytail nice and tight because I feel like that's one of the hardest things to do when you're trying to make a nice and sleek high ponytail. So let me just move to the side for that. I am going to be taking a brush and I'm using a boar bristle brush here because it has dense bristles and it's going to create the smoothest effect. I'm going to start by simply pulling my hair up to where I want to have it. It's going to be right around here. And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to start smoothing this back. I'm just going to go all around and this is kind of just the initial round I guess that we're doing just to make sure that all the hair is laying in the right direction so it doesn't have to be perfect just yet. All of the hair on your head should be lying flat combed in the direction of your ponytail and now's the time to start perfecting this. So what I always like to start with doing especially when I'm doing a high ponytail is to tilt my head back a bit and smooth over this hair here again, pull it tight. And that helps to really tighten the hair in the back and make sure you don't get that kind of like hanging bit here, that sack of hair, I guess, that you often get when you do a quick or messy ponytail, which does distract from the very neat look. So if you want to make this sleek, then just take your brush, tilt your head back and pull the hair into the ponytail. Then anything that has come undone on the top, you can just brush over again. And then I'm going to take my hair elastic, tie this, and there we go. That is a super tight ponytail. If, like me, you have these little flyaway hairs on the bottom, I think most people do have those. Hairspray is your best friend here, so I like to just take some of that. And for ponytails, I like to use a glossy hairspray. So I will just spray that on, on the bottom here and take a little brush and then we just brush all of those hairs up in the direction of the rest of the hair and that should help get rid of those. So of course you can do the same thing on the front as well. If you don't have bangs then you might do that along here. I do have bangs that won't reach back that far so I'm just gonna leave them down. If you happen to get bumps in your ponytail, like I have one here, you can see it when I hold my head like this, right here there's a little bump. So in order to smooth that out you can take a little comb or something pencil, um, just some kind of long thin object, stick that into your hair right in front of that bump like that and then pull back and smooth it over and that should help get rid of that, hide it and make sure everything is nice and smooth and even. So the next thing I want to show you is a different technique of tying the ponytail because I don't know if this is just me but whenever I do this that I just did, at a certain point you have to let go of your hair. You're kind of pulling the hair through the elastic and you've let go of the grip that you had on it. So if you are making a super sleek ponytail then this is already kind of you know coming loose, coming undone and you want to avoid that. So there is a way to tie a ponytail where you can keep holding the ponytail until it's completely tied. To do that you can take a hair elastic and I always like using hair elastics that don't have the little metal bit in the center, so the ones that are glued together, and you're gonna take two bobby pins and you're gonna slide in a bobby pin on either side of the hair elastic so that it looks a little something like this and now allow me to demonstrate. I'm just gonna pop the brightness up a little bit so you can see better on my dark hair. I'm going to take the first of my bobby pins, I'm gonna open it up just slightly. You don't want to open it up too far or it's not gonna work so just a little bit and I'm gonna stick it in right behind my hand and I'm gonna take the other bobby pin and I'm gonna use that bobby pin to wrap this elastic around the ponytail and doing that behind my hand, behind the hand that's holding the hair down. So 
I'm going to wrap as far as the elastic will go and then I'm going to stick the bobby pin into the hair and then it should hold like that. I will admit that I am quite new to this technique, so I'm just going to try again with bobby pins that are a bit stronger. Slide in the bobby pin. So this technique does require a little bit of practice, but once you get it down, it's really not that hard to do. It does work really well to create very nice and tight and controlled ponytails. All right, next tip. So if, like me, you are a bit insecure about the volume of your ponytail, there are ways you can incorporate extensions into a ponytail that aren't, you know, specifically made um, ponytail hair extensions, because you do have those, of course, the ones that are like just uh, a full-on extra ponytail. I prefer to use regular clip-in hair extensions for my ponytails as well. I feel like it looks a little bit more natural. I am going to start by taking a circle of hair from the top of my head here. Let's make that a little bit bigger. I'm gonna brush that back and tie it with a hair elastic. And I'm tying this in the place where I want my ponytail to end up in the end. Personally, I like adding just a little bit of extra hair to my natural hair. So I like to just add this one strip of hair extensions that's just a double strip. By making this ponytail, we have created a base that we can pin extensions onto. So when I'm just doing this one strip that is uh, also the same length as my hair is, I like to clip this on the bottom side because when I clip it to the top, it kind of blends in with the shorter parts of my ponytail and you can see it. Like the, you can see that la layer of hair just end very abruptly in the middle of my ponytail. Whereas when I pin it to the bottom, and of course in the direction that the hair is going in, as always, it blends in with the longer part of my ponytail and you can't see it as much. So when I have that, I then just take the rest of my hair as well, gather it, and I'm gonna use, of course, the rest of my hair, my natural hair, to cover up that strip. And I normally don't do this, but when I am wearing the extensions, I do feel like it's easier to do if I flip my hair, if I flip my head over forward. So I will gather all of my hair around that first hair elastic that I had and then tie it down with the second one. And there we have a slightly fuller, but still natural looking ponytail. So this is kind of how I would do it, um, you know, in my personal life. But if you like a bit of a bigger impact, a bit more of a wow effect, then there is of course more you can do. So we're just going back to that one little sensor ponytail. And I have another set of hair extensions here. And these are much longer than my natural hair. And there's more of them. So I'm just going to apply all of these and show you what that looks like. This is enough hair to be its own separate ponytail. I'm going to be clipping my extensions around this parting that I have on top. And I think I'm actually gonna start up top here. And we are always clipping in the direction, so to have the hair in the direction of my natural hair as well. So I'm just going to go around that parting in a circle all the way around. So you want to make sure when you're doing this that you have hair on the front and the back of your ponytail so that it's evenly distributed. That's one layer. You can layer these strips on top of each other. And I'm just gonna clip this on top of that previous strip that I already have. Just go all around. And now I'm gonna cover this up with my natural hair. And of course, everything we did before still applies now. So you can tilt your head back if you want to avoid the bump. Uh, you can hairspray your edges whatever you need to do to get the perfect ponytail. And then I like to just brush this through to make sure it blends nicely with my own hair. And there we go. There is a much fuller and much longer ponytail, which still looks natural. You can't tell at all that there are extensions in here. Yeah, great way to add a little bit of volume and or length to your ponytail if you so desire.
Now, something that I sometimes like to do is to just take a little strip of hair from your ponytail and wrap this around the base of your ponytail so that you hide the hair elastic. And I feel like it just looks a little bit cuter. So then just take a bobby pin and secure this. And I just feel like that looks a little bit nicer than having a big, you know, hair elastic popping out there. And that's it. Those are my tricks to optimize your ponytail and make it as perfect as possible. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there'll be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!